I did what I always do when I make what seemed to be astounding discoveries. I assumed I'd screwed something up. Are you sure this line is clean? What a body. Would you care to join me in the next dance? A princess does not... Does not mind if she does. Sir, excuse me. Are you familiar with the uh, rock? You know, uh... Try it, try it. Come on. Guys, I'm bringing the party to you. joy doesn't matter what i believe stay cool hit the button baby with all the jealousy backstabbing politics lies office habdashery ergonomic fuckery passive aggressive teabagging correction well that is super duper exciting and thor news just got 17 extra silver points to gryffindor for this announcement this is a thor news presentation thor news presents well, ain't this just sweet kismet? Zippity doo day, zabbity doo. I like planets. How about you? What is a planet? Let's kick back and learn a little. We're gonna mentally go to Boston and have some cream pie. For astronomers, planets around other stars tend to come in two basic types, rocky worlds and gas giants. But now, scientists have identified a third class of exoplanet. Ten years ago, today it happened. I did what I always do when I make what seemed to be astounding discoveries. I assumed I'd screwed something up. Screwing up happens all the time. And if you have to make a guess between just found biggest object in our outer solar system, or screwed something up, you'd be smart to pick the latter. Maybe I had set up the telescope wrong. Maybe the tracking was off. Maybe we were looking in the wrong spot in the sky. Shockingly to me, at least, nothing was off. The images were perfect. We had just found a second object even brighter than the one from eight days earlier. This new object found 10 years ago today was, of course, Xena, which became 2003 UB313 which finally became Eris. Ten years on, we know that Eris is about 25% more massive than Pluto, though similar in size. The reason it appeared so bright in those earliest images is that it is one of the most reflective objects in the solar system. It is so far away that its atmosphere is frozen onto the surface, reflecting almost all of the light that hits it. How do you know, man? Like, how do you know? Because I gotta say, Science likes to think the farther out planets are, you know, beyond the frost line, and then they're just giant cold balls of ice. And you know what? Jupiter is not a giant ball of ice. Neptune is not a giant ball of ice. Saturn is not a giant ball of ice. And it sure as hell looks like Pluto is not a giant ball of ice. Sedna is the reddest object in our solar system. And ice is never red. Ever. Blood is red roses are red rust is reddish you know so my question is this all started because which I'll cover later this all started because the universe today was like Mike Brown wrote another paper man and that paper said it looks like these are all the bright creeper belt objects we will ever find by Tim Reyes universe today the self-professed Pluto killer is at it again dr. Michael Brown is now reminiscing but the good old days when one could scour through the sky, survey data, and discover big bright objects in the Kuiper Belt. In his last research paper, Brown and his team have concluded that those days are over. Now granted, we're only talking brightness here. Let's talk about how bright it is. Update, I would say we're out of bright ones. Not big ones. Could be big ones lurking far away. Could be big ones lurking far away. There could be big ones lurking far away. You got that? Me too. So I want to know, Dr. Mikey Brown, Dr. Mikey Brown, WGF is Xena++, plus plus, man. Let me know. Let us know. I'm going to encourage people to tweet you politely asking, Sir, what is Xena++? Plus plus? What did you mean when you said this? As the premier, ultimate, dwarf planet finder in the world and in history. 
What are you talking about, bro? Why won't you talk to us? Give us some love. You know? I'm cool as shit, man. Wait, shit's not that cool, especially when it comes right out. That is gross. You know, I love Planet X. And to me, since the IAU never defined Planet X, Planet X is anything, any other planet toyed outside of Pluto's orbit. So that's Planet X to me. Planet Eris was actually declared the 10th planet for a couple months until it got demoted. So it was officially the 10th planet, 10 being X. You know, so Planet X is not some cuckoo bird term. It's a real deal, man. And people think it's a cuckoo bird term. Can't handle the truth. There are a lot of those people out there now. And what's really hilarious is it, sometime somebody made a video claiming I was Mike Brown. Now, Mike Brown really doesn't talk to me much. Or ever really and why did y'all name it Eris? Eris is the goddess of lawlessness hate anger frustration what is up the I use butt man why do you want to name shit I mean you guys don't believe in God but you name everything after God that don't make no damn sense it's like you're trying to mock the people who fund you would science do that mock the people that fund them hell no I mean what it is I don't know it's stupid huh? oh no no Mike Brown was shot. Oh, wrong Mike Brown. So please tweet our friend, Dr. Mike Brown, and say, hey, buddy, what is up? Earthlings, Pluto is not worthy of being argued over. I'm working on finding something much more worthy. Have patience, my friends. Hashtag Xena++. Plus plus. Now, I've kept this tweet on my desktop pretty much since October 7th. That's three months in a week. I've pestered Mr. Pluto Killer several times asking for more information about this subject and have gotten zip, zilch, zero, none. All right, let's do a refresher course. Suddenly, we're surrounded by one billion Earths. Are they friend or are they foe? Next, on exponentially multiplying exoplanetary Earth 2.0s. No, 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 no. That, that's not it. Just, just let yourself go. Let it go. Yeah.